overflows total acceptance and spiritual practice acceptance of totality is to be automatically in the middle you are neither for something nor against something you have not chosen you are just floating in the stream you are not moving towards any goal you have no choice you are in total let go accepting the total life means the middle path if you deny you move to the other extreme denial is extreme if you deny anything you deny it for something then you move to one extreme if you deny sex you move to celibacy to the other extreme both are extremes if you deny celibacy you will move to indulgence to the other extreme the moment you deny you have ex accepted the extreme path acceptance of totality is to be automatically in the middle you are neither for something nor against something you have not chosen you are just floating in the stream you are not moving towards any goal you have no choice this is let go tantra is the science of deep let go when you choose your ego comes in when you choose your will comes in when you choose you are moving against the whole universe you have your own choice means choosing means you have your own choice when you choose you are not choosing the universal flow instead you are standing aloof isolated you are like an island you are trying to be yourself against the whole flux of life non choosing means you are not to decide where life goes or takes you to you allow the life to move to take you with it and you have no fixed goal if you have a fixed goal you are bound to choose life's goal is your goal you are not moving against life you have no idea of your own against life you leave yourself you surrender yourself to life force life force itself this is what tantra means by total acceptance you are not moving upstream instead you are moving with the flow and once you accept life in its totality things starts happening because this total acceptance frees you from the ego point your ego point is the problem because of it you create problems there are no problems in life itself extreme is existence is without problems existence is problemless you are the problem and you are the creator of the problem and you create problems out of everything even if you meet god 
you will create problems out of him. Even if you reach paradise, you will create problems out of paradise. Because you are the original source of problems. You are not going to surrender and this non-surrendering ego is the source of all problems. This non-surrendering ego is the source of all problems. Tantra says that it is not the question of achieving something. It is not the question of achieving celibacy. If you achieve celibacy against sex, your celibacy will remain basically sexual. Two extremes, however, opposite are part of one reality. Two aspects of one thing, head and tail are part of one thing that we call coin. If you choose one, you have chosen the other also. Coin does not exist with head or tail alone. In accepting the head, you have indirectly or say unwillingly accepted the tail as well. If you choose one, you have chosen the other two. The other will remain hidden, now repressed. What does repression mean? Choosing one extreme against the other, which is the basic part of it. What is repression? Repression is choosing one extreme against the other, which is an essential part of it. You choose celibacy against sex. But what is celibacy? It is just the reversal of sex energy. You have centered on celibacy, but you have also chosen sex with it. Now celibacy will be on the surface facing you, but deep down there will be the other side, the coin sex. You will be disturbed because your choice will create the disturbance. You can choose only one pole and the other pole follows automatically. And you are against the other pole. So now you will be disturbed. You will be divided. You will be schizophrenic. Tantra says, do not choose, be choiceless. Once you understand this, the question will never arise of what indulgence, what is indulgence and what is repression. This is what I teach you. Then there is no repression, no indulgence, neither repression nor indulgence. You are flowing with the stream that life is. The question arises only because you are still choosing. You, there are people who come to me and they say, we will accept life. But if we accept life, when will celibacy happen? It is like asking. When will this satiation happen? By eating food or not eating food? Both are necessary. They are ready to be in total acceptance, 
but the readiness is false just superficial deep down they are clinging to the extreme they want celibacy they have not achieved it by fighting against sex so when they hear me or anyone for that matter they think as we have been we have not been able to achieve it through fighting now we should achieve it through acceptance but the achieving mind the motivated mind the greedy mind is there the goal is there the choice is there i tried to be fighting with it but nothing happened now i am accepting it if you have something to achieve you cannot accept totality the acceptance is not total because you want to achieve something you want to achieve celibacy so you are against sex and that is not acceptance the acceptance is not total then you are also trying acceptance as a technique to achieve something acceptance means now you leave that achieving mind that motivated mind that is always for something hankering for something you leave it you allow life to flow freely just as the mind is flowing just as the wind flowing freely through the tree leaves you allow life to be free to move freely through you life like a breeze flowing through you you have no resistance where it leads you are ready to move you have no goal if you have any goal then you will have to resist life then you will have to fight with it if a tree has some goal some leaning some ideas then it cannot allow the wind to move freely through it if it wants to go south then the wind is forcing it north will be the enemy if you have some goal you cannot accept life as a friend your goal creates the enmity if you accept something out of life you are forcing yourself on life you are not allowing the life to happen to you tantra says things happen when you do not accept do not expect them things happen when you do do not force them things happen when you are not hankering after them but this is consequence not a result and be clearly aware of the difference between consequence and result a result is consciously desired a consequence is a by product for example if i say to you that if you are playing happiness will be the consequence any play you will try it for the result any play you will try it for the result you go and you play and you are waiting for the result of happiness but i told you it will be the consequence not the result life is a consequence not the result enough for now